Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is getting us some answers right now. He is live in Manchester tonight with more. Mike? Yes, Mark and Aaron. Unfortunately, some of the highest price increases are on the necessities. And for people who are even seeing some uh, increases in their paychecks, this rate of inflation is just going up too fast. It ain't over yet. So <laughs> it's going to get worse, actually. That's not what consumers want to hear. Fears that inflation won't slow down. The consumer price index hit a 40 year high today of 7.9%. The index measures cost increases in a range of items, and experts say that increase is driven by energy prices. That, of course, feeds into everything because we use energy to make everything. Along with gas, some of the biggest increases are in housing and at the grocery store. Customers here in Manchester say that they feel it. Both places, the grocery store and the gas station. Maybe gas traveling, um, how far we go. Another area where prices are taking off, air travel. Experts say the cost of clothing hasn't gone up as much, but customers say discretionary income is where they're cutting back. I don't go shopping anymore for other things. As inflation continues at this historic rate, people who got raises in their paychecks are suddenly finding that extra money is gone. I think it's a lot more important question. What is going on to, uh, with the real wage increases? Is there any? There is none. Still. Shoppers tell us they make sure they have a few extra bucks for the smaller joys. You mean like ice cream or beer? Coffee. I have my cake cups delivered every 10 weeks. And one more point on wages. Experts say that as we see businesses competing for employees, you could use that as an opportunity to get an increase in your pay. But that could also mean higher costs, which could drive prices up even more. Live from Manchester, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.